everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and today I am super excited to be bringing you my first update to Pan Nat Palette. I can't believe that I'm already starting to get into the updates for all of the year long projects I've started. It's weird how a month has gone by already. But I'm really excited. I do I have some fun progress to share with you guys. So if you guys are as excited as I am, I hope you like the video and you subscribe to the channel and join along for Pan That Palette this year. So my Pan That Palette, as mentioned in my intro, is going along with the Fantastic Ladies themed and I will have the Fantastic Ladies linked in the description box below as I always do. And um, their theme this year is Kicking It Old School, which is either your oldest palette or one of your older palettes. And so I, if you guys have seen my intro, you guys know that I am panning my ColourPop Going Coconuts palette. The front is definitely very faded, but <laughs> I love this. I've been loving this palette so much and I uh, can't wait to show you the progress. So before I show you what my palette looks like, I'm going to pop a picture up right here showing what my palette looked like at the intro. As, um, as you can tell, uh, two shades are already missing. I did explain the tragedy of those two shades in my intro, but just a quick recap. The shade Nutty fell out while I was doing makeup because I accidentally tipped my palette over. And then out of confusion, I tipped it over again and the shade Palm Reader fell out. So it was the, the deepest dark brown and the white shades in this palette, which I was very upset about, but it kind of gave me a head start for this project. So I'm uh, really, I'm really happy with the progress I have. And this is the, uh, this is what the palette looks like today. So as you can tell, there are definitely no, no new pans, but I've definitely been making lots of progress. I will pop a, uh, another photo up of how it currently looks so I'm not shining a mirror. Hello. <laughs> I'm not shining a mirror in your guys' face. So I can just look at it and talk about it and not have to worry about holding it up the entire time. All right, so the first shade we have is the cream shade called Shredded. I have used that uh, shade a total of 11 times. The next one is Culotta, which I have used seven times. We have the shade Lovely Bunch, which I have used eight times. The shade Coco Crush, I have also used eight times. And Shell Yeah, I have also used eight times. <laughs> the uh, In the last row, the Dark Brown, Get Kraken, I have used nine times. And then that final shade, Da Coco, I have used four times. So next I would, I would like to show you some of the looks that I have been creating with this palette. I know some people do this, some people don't, but as I've been playing around with this palette, I have come up with some looks that I'm very proud of and I'd really like to show you guys. The first one is actually the one I'm wearing today. Um, I kind of came up with this on the fly, but it does include all seven of the shades in my Pan That palette. So I do have the shade Shredded um, all over the, um, I have, I have it all over the lid. I, I tend to always reach for Shredded to set my eye primer because I've learned that doing that really helps with my, the rest of my eyeshadow blending out. I have, uh, Culotta and Lovely Bunch, uh, mixed together and put in the um, put in, just like kind of put in the grease and kind of blend it out uh, slowly up towards the brow. Um, I have the shade Coco Crush as my inner corner highlight and my brow bone highlight. This is actually the first time I've ever done something like this and I actually, I actually love it. So I, there might be something I continue on. Um, the, uh, the shade Shell Yeah is, bl is blended in the crease on both the inner and outer corners. And then that is deepened up with Get Kraken. And then I have Da Coco on the, as the shimmer on my inner eyelids. So yeah, I really, really like this look. And I <laughs> for, almost forgot. I also have Get Kraken and, she uh, and Shell Yeah 
on my lower lash line with some white liner, which I really, really like. Might try this again with black eyeliner, but that is currently put away in my stash. I might bring it out for February and try that out with this kind of look. So I'll pop a picture up of the next look. This is more of um, a soft, definitely a softer uh, looking halo eye, but it's very, it's very, very similar to what I'm wearing right now, except I have, instead of the Coco, I have Coco Crush on um, the center of the eyelid, and then I have a different eyeshadow from, uh, from a different palette uh, in the inner corner and brow highlight, so it kind of softens it up a little bit, have a little bit brighter color, which I also really, really like. And then uh, a third uh, photo is what has been basically my everyday look. Most of the times I've used this palette, this is the look that I've done. And it's basically taking Get Kraken, smoke, uh, blending that out with Shell Yeah, and then proceeding to blend that out with Kulada and Lovely Bunch. I just had kids yelling out there, what the heck? <laughs> anyway. And then, <laughs> so after all that's been blended out, I like to take Coco Crush all over the lid because it is definitely one of my favorite colors in this entire palette. And then uh, and then shredded is always set use underneath everything as the primer setter color. <laughs> so yeah, those are the those are some looks that I really like. And there's definitely ones that I'm probably going to do a lot, but I'm also very excited to experiment and see if there's any other looks I could come up with. I know one thing that some people do that I personally do not because I don't have a proper way of doing it yet is taking weights. If that is something that you guys are interested in, please, please let me know. Comment down below. Um, let me know, like message me on Instagram. I ha I'll have my Instagram link in the description box below. Let me know if you're interested in, interested in seeing weights so that I can go out and buy. <laughs> buy something that I can use to be able to weigh products um, accurately because the kitchen one I do have only does um, by 0 .05 measurements so if like something is 0 .02 it might still show up as 0 or if it's 0 .05 or 0 .04 like it'll show up as 0 .05 and I know that's not accurate and I would want it to be as accurate as possible so I would need to go out and get one. But I'm more, more than willing to do that if that is something you guys are interested in. So moving forward for the next month, I didn't really have any goals set at the intro. I just kind of wanted to play with the palette, see what damage I can do just on everyday use. But I think now looking at it, I feel, I can feel it in my gut. I am super close to pan on Kulada and Coco Crush. So my goal for February is I want to try to hit pan in either one of those. I mean, if I hit it in both, then I'd be the happiest girl alive. <laughs> but my goal is definitely going to be to hit pan in either of those because I feel like almost every time I use it, especially Kulata, there's a really, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is a decent, decent dip in there. And I would be ecstatic to finally hit pan because I feel like I've been going to hit pan for like the last like five days or so. So I really hope, so my that's gonna be my focus for this month is to hit sh is to try to hit pan on either Kulata or Coco Crush. But other than that, I just gonna use all the other shades as normal. I do want to try to get more use out of Coco. It is not my favorite shade in this. It's definitely a little bit more hard pressed um, compared to Coco Crush. I know Coco Crush is a, I think technically a super shock shadow because it has a different it feels different than this one does but it does, this da coco definitely feels more hard pressed so it's a, sometimes it's a little bit harder to use um i definitely have a little dip going in get kraken because this is just basically my everyday dark brown deepened up color because i don't have this one anymore <laughs> um and then the other one's just making decent progress so I'm really excited to see how much damage I can do in February and hopefully I might have a I hope hopefully we'll have a pan or two so 
I'm, I really, really hope so. My heart, my heart wants this. <laughs> so, because I've never, I haven't hit a pan and an eyeshadow and I don't even know how long and it's something I've been desiring. I must, I must have it. Please, please, please give me a pan. <laughs> Anyway, that's my that's my uh, February update for Pan That Palette. If you guys uh, are enjoying what the this progress so far, I really hope you like the video. Comment down below if uh, which uh, pan you think I'll hit pan in next. Is it going to be Culotta or Coco Crush? I'd love to hear your input. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>